score that point as the result of a short right against the rope. Also knows the uppercut. Good body shot, but the combination. Round one. Well, that's that's what a great puncher can do. The box. Pertandingan tinju kelas berat antara Mike Tyson versus Tony Tu. Yaitu pada tanggal 21 Maret tahun 1988 di kota Tokyo di negara Jepang. Dua bulan setelah kemenangan Mike Tyson atas Larry Holmes. Untuk pertama kalinya Mike Tyson menjalani pertarungan di luar Amerika Serikat. Yaitu untuk mempertahankan gelar kelas berat tak terbantahkan miliknya yaitu dengan menghadapi turn itu seorang mantan juara kelas berat WBA yang dengan percaya diri mengatakan bahwa dia akan melatih tubuh Mike Tyson pada saat pertandingan nanti sesuatu hal yang gagal dilakukan oleh lawan-lawan Mike Tyson sebelumnya dan Mike Tyson juga belum pernah menghadapi pria dengan kecepatan tangan seperti saya tutur Tony Tup sebelum pertandingan ini digelar namun apapun katanya, apapun ceritanya Mike Tyson yang pada saat itu berusia 21 tahun berhasil mengalahkan Tony Tup hanya dalam waktu dua ronde saja walaupun dua ronde pertama pertandingan ini Tony Tup mampu mendapatkan beberapa pukulan keras kepada Mike Tyson sebelum dari ronde kedua pertandingan ini kombinasi pukulan Mike Tyson berhasil membuat Tony Tup terhuyung-huyung dan terjatuh di pojok ring dan memenangkan pertarungan ini lewat kemenangan TKO di akhir ronde yang kedua habis sudah mengenangkan Tony Tubbs untuk melatih tubuh Mike Tyson dengan kecepatan tangannya Mike and Tony You both received instructions earlier in the day, and therefore you know the rules. Bell, good luck. That's Arthur McCanty doing his sixth heavyweight. Go. McCanty says they're all set, and there's the bell for round one. Tubbs throws the jab, and Tyson responds in time. Well, you're right, Grace. A lot of fighters find it difficult to uh, set Mike Tyson up because Mike now gives a lot of uh, head movement. All right, break! I say break, stop it, break! It gets a man into punching range. Yeah. You can begin to see the startling hand quickness that Tubbs brings, startling partially because of the shape of his body. Well, here with Tubbs, the uppercut, I also know the uppercut, a looping right hand by Mike Tyson, because that's the punch I see that uh, Tubbs is vulnerable to. He keeps dropping that left hand. One minute to go in round one. Tubbs landed a left and ducked away effectively. You know what you do, You need to break that rhythm with a jab. Tubbs throwing the uppercut. A lot of people think he will have to be effective with that punch because Tyson comes in constantly. Well, Tyson also lunged him with an overhand right there. And that's one of the mistakes he makes. Ten seconds to go in round one. Talking in Tubbs's corner was done by trainer Odell Hadley. So now Hadley and Rooney have had their minute, and round two begins. Tubbs keeping that right hand up because of the left hook of Mike Tyson. Trying to improve each time he steps into the ring. But what I see here at Tubbs, Tubbs is pretty much trying to get range so he can drop his right hand because in his corner they told him to drop the right hand. But the left hook lands, but he's. There's the right hand, Jim, I spoke earlier about. You must give Tyson angles. You can't remain stationary. Hands must stay up and stay out of the corners. But indeed, Tony acknowledged in talking with us, Ray, that you 
couldn't finesse Tyson completely. You have to be willing, as he said, to fight him. Well, you saw that, that double punch because the body shot, then the uppercut. Raises the chin up, and then the left hook comes into play. Good uppercut by Tubbs inside. Snap Tyson back a little. Tubbs has to be very careful. You notice he put both feet together, and that's easy to be knocked down or knocked off balance. Watch out! He's trying to use his additional weight. Coming up on a minute to go in round two. Tony Tubbs so far appears in no way intimidated by Tyson's fury, as have so many of his opponents. Good left hook, good, good combination by Tubbs. Open up. Tubbs just trying to gain respect, and I think he's done that. Good left by Tyson. Tubbs reels. Those hands must be kept up higher. And again, like I said earlier, Jim, I don't think it's a good idea to change punches with Tyson. Good body shot, but you need combinations now. 30 seconds left in the round. Both fighters have had their say here. I couldn't tell whether another punch hurt. Tubbs is hurt. Tubbs is hurt badly. It was a left hook. And it's over. Odell Hadley has jumped in the ring. The fight for that point is the result of a short right against the ropes. What it was happening, actually, was that Tyson was wearing down Tubbs because Tubbs tried to stay inside and fight Mike Tyson and fight, which I thought was a mistake. 15 or 20 seconds. Well, that's, that's what a great puncher can do, the boxing. Once again, that's short left hook. And uh, for those who say Mike is not really a one-punch knocker out, I think they need to look at some films again. What a puncher can do, the boxer is thinking all the time, and the puncher is punching all the time. Um, the only thing I can say now is that if you thought that uh, whale hunting was outlawed in Japan, we just saw that uh, Mike Tyson hadn't heard about it. Let's take a look back at the left hands, which did the damage. Well, Tyson now starting to find his range. The left hook there pretty much did spoke for itself. It's self-explanatory because it was a short and powerful left hook that put Tony Tubbs down. And here Mike still showing. Chin. Well, he has a very good durable chin, but again, that's Mike Tyson there. And right now, let's go up to ring announcer Michael Buffer for the official statistics on this. Still, the undefeated undisputed heavyweight champion of the world, Iron 